welcome back droidlife.com so what we got today is a little special treat um, this is called the Miui ROM I, I'm, that's probably saying it totally wrong but the Miui ROM sort of taking the ROM world by storm right now um, this Japanese company or Chinese company released this this ROM for the Nexus one and it it was like this five minute long video they did showing you all these crazy things you could do with it and it sort of like blew everyone's mind. Um, and it's been ported to all kinds of devices now. Like you can get on the Incredible, I think the Evo, and then of course the OG, the original Droid, you can get it on. So it actually runs pretty well. I've only had it for, you know, just a few minutes, but playing around is not like a lot of lag or anything like that. It's actually pretty, pretty solid ROM. So um, first guy that's done this, you know, has reported a few bugs, but he's working hard on it. and. So far, it works really nice. So let me just show you. This is the MIUI ROM, and I'm gonna go back to the lock screen because the lock screen is different than what you'll see on a lot of devices. Okay, so lock screen, you have three options. You can unlock using the phone, and if you unlock using the phone, actually, I can slide down. Unlock using the phone takes you right into actually your dialer, okay? Or you can do your text message. You can unlock with that button. It takes you right to your text message app. It's kind of cool. Or you can just simply unlock and get right to your home screens okay so that's that's some of the stuff we'd like to see in future roms and i'm sure people will figure out how to do it and they'll start porting that over that's why we love when these crazy roms like this come out people just start getting ideas so anyway when you get to the actual home screens you got five i believe five and the weird thing is there's no actual app drawer okay so it's sort of a lot of people call this like an iphone lookalike and as you can see we zoom in the icons kind of look like um they kind of do look like iPhone apps. Okay, so that's sort of unfortunate, but yeah, you have no app drawer. So it kind of functions like the iPhone and the fact that you got pages of apps, except that it's better than the iPhone because you actually have widgets and all kinds of cool customization you can do to it, which you will never be able to do on the iPhone. Anyway, um, so what you got down here though is like your shortcut main app sort of bar. So you can see you got your phone, contacts, and I got Gmail and stuff like that. You can drag and drop stuff in and out of there pretty easily. Okay, so now I got three down there and I can drag that back. I can put some other stuff in there. Oops, I believe you can get up to six. Let's see if I can do it right. Five and six. Okay, so you can get all kinds of different apps down there. And after that, I think it starts replacing them. Um, so it's fairly cool how it you know adjusts its settings and all that stuff in there and shrinks them down and you can fit more in there. Um, it also has, let me zoom in a little bit, see this little slider bar right here? It's this little slider bar that'll take you in between your home screens faster than just flicking between them like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, it has a notification bar. Pull that down real quick. So notification bar you'll see has really cool built-in stuff. Um, it has all of your sort of like settings it's like a settings panel in your notification bar so you can see I got my Wi-Fi and you know there's like brightness and there's sound and there's vibrate and there's oops, come back down and there's Bluetooth and there's GPS and sync and something to do with your CPU and airplane mode and so and there's actually a reboot button right there which is pretty cool so you have all kinds of stuff going on that you know I'd love to see in an actual ROM and another like a legitimate ROM that we're used to. Um, yeah, so that's notification bar and everything works in there. That's pretty cool. They also do this thing with folders and I'll show you, you can long press on the home screen and you get to like their edit mode, I think they call it. And you can see you got a trash bin up there. Let me show you that. So trash bin up there, you got your gallery of pictures over there, which you can use to set wallpapers and stuff like that. Then you got this button over here, which takes you to widgets. Okay. And you can see it sort of does this grid outline to show you where you can put stuff. No, that's kind of cool. Um, so let's do this. So if we hit widgets, it brings up sort of a drawer of widgets. So what we got going on here is a, all of your home screens and cards down here, and you can flick between those. And then we got our like our widget box. It's like a it's like a toy box or something. And you can flip between there, and it shows you all the other widgets you can use. Okay, so let me just pick this one called folder, which is sort of something we haven't seen before. Oh, and actually, what you have to do is drag that and then you actually put it on whichever home screen you want I don't know if it's gonna let me go over that way nope so if I just drop it on that screen and then to get out of it I think I just tap on that screen yep tap on that screen so here's that folder that I just dropped okay so folder what's cool about this is you can just grab apps and just oops as I'm struggling you can just grab apps and you should be able to just drop them right in that folder so you can just take whatever you want just drop that, I'm so bad at this, drop it right in that folder. 
you can see it does like to do that replace thing. But you can just take all this stuff, drop it right into that folder. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Um, to get back into that folder, you just tap on it, and then you can just drag and drop stuff right back out of it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, if we go back into this widget thing, you can see you got a Facebook widget, and you got all. Let me zoom in there. Facebook widget, you know, your news and weather that we're used to, you know, music, your Google search, all your like standard widgets, um, they've sort of been ported over. And it's just sort of a whole different look and idea and way of running everything. And I just like the fact that they give you these little cards down here so when you're in there you can decide which, you know, which place you want that at. That's something the uh, stock Android guys should take a little hint from. Um, and then if you want to delete something, you do have a trash bar up there, so you can just go and drag it right up to the trash bar. Oh, and I cannot remove that because i got a bunch of apps in there. So, anyway. But that's how you delete stuff. Uh, if we tap on the uh, picture button up here, you can see we get, oh, there we go, lock screen wallpaper. So you can change what the lock screen looks like. Sure, let's put that nice little picture on there. And, I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can set up live wallpapers just like you could on other stuff. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there. Um, let me just look at the lock screen now so we can see that it did change. And there you go. Now you got a different picture on there, so that ugly present. Okay, so this is the MIUI ROM. And, like I said, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on that we've never seen before. But it's sort of taken the like whole ROMing world by storm. And no one really knows what to think or do with this thing. But people are pointing it over to all sorts of devices. Um, we'll post, you know, the download link and instructions and stuff like that at the blog, so you guys can check this out and play with it. Um, like I said, there is one out there for the Incredible. I think the Evo and maybe a couple other devices too. And uh, we'll post as many links up as we can. But anyway, this is a Miui ROM. Like I said, just kind of laugh along with it. Like the whole functionality of it's so weird and odd, but it's pretty cool at the same time. Like there's some stuff in there that would be awesome to see ported to other ROMs. You know, like this whole notification bar thing with the, you know, the settings and all that. Um, the lock screen's cool. I do like this folder thing they got going on. I do like how they, you know, do this trash up here with your widgets and they show you like where everything can go and they got all sorts of stuff going on. So anyway, check us out at the blog. We're droidlife, droid-life.com and you know, we'll walk through this and you can check more stuff out and we'll see you later. Peace.